Hi guys, so I'm back with another video and sorry about the shadow in the back. Uh, I'm still trying to find a position that I can shoot videos, but just work with me here and ignore that shadow. So let's get straight into this. So in my last video, be sure to check that out. I'll try to link that somewhere here um, in the screen. But in my last video, I was trying to install this frontal unit and test out um, Got To Be Glue versus Bold Hold. I didn't record me using Bold Hold, but you guys, I'm still working that out and my favorite is still Got To Be Glue. Um, nothing's against Bold Hold, but I'm still trying to figure that whole thing out. So let's get into frontals because honestly, that's what I want this video to be about. Strictly about frontals and whether you want a frontal or a closure or what's the difference between them two. So, okay, obvious thing, frontals are from ear to ear and closures, you have the, the four by four that's like right there and then you have the five by five which covers a little bit more and kind of covers the, um, the points. I call it where your head is um or some may have colleagues but either way <laughs> that's what it covers so frontals are like the new rave right now because everybody wants a frontal everybody wants that versatile look everybody want to protect their edges and everybody wanted to protect their hair from um their leave out from heat damage of course so my particular thing is frontals because it's just amazing like girl let me Yeah, like all of this, like none of my hair is left out, sis. None of my hair is left out. Like, do you see this? Like, this is why people choose frontals. Like, this is why, okay? You can do so much with it. Like, you can really, like, look. You can do so much with this frontal, you guys. Like, it's super amazing. And let me fix my hair, girl. But, yeah, so that's my particular fave. Closures are also good if you just um, don't know how to maintain a frontal or you don't want to glue it down, which you also have the option of sewing a frontal down or just using the elastic band. A lot of times that work. Or if you measure, if you make a wig or you have someone else make you a custom wig, they can make it to where it fits your head. Um, honestly, if you get in a custom wig, it should fit to your head uh, without you using any adhesives or any type of combs or anything like that. Now, combs, elastic bands, and... Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Combs, elastic bands, and adhesives are also uh, just an extra security. Even if it does fit your head, some people just feel like, oh my God, girl, the wind gonna blow and my fronts are gonna come off or my whole wig gonna come off or, you know, all that. So you don't even have to worry about that because those three things, as well as other things, sewing it down, that makes you feel extra secure. And I know I like to feel extra secure because boo, I don't want my wig flying off, okay? So next thing, um, closures. So closures, same thing. You can put a comb in it. Um, you can sew it down. Some people even start to use adhesives because as you know, the closure has like this front little pour out. So you can, let's see, see if I can show you guys. So a closure has like this much out or maybe just a tad bit more. So you can kind of glue the front and have, um, give you that, I guess, illusion that you may have, um, that you can do with the frontal. So why are people going all crazy about frontals? Well, it's like a new thing. Like, don't you think it's like the new thing? Um, so yeah, so that's why I choose frontals over closures. Not that one is better, but frontals do have a lot of maintenance to it. Okay. So if you use adhesives, so you have to maintain that. Um, whether it's got to be or any type of um, frontal or lace glue, um, you have to, you know, just deal with that. And a lot of those glues have a lot of residue and be careful because they can pull out your edges as well as um, just look very messy around the perimeter of your frontal. So be on the lookout for that. Um, also, do not, do not, do not. 
do not put alcohol on your head. Period. Don't do it. Um, if you want to get off your frontal, let me tell you how I get mine off, girl. So, you know that dry shampoo that they sell at the beauty store? Like, I take that and I squirt it. And then, because I feel like that is best. Like, a lot of those removals have, it's, it's an oil-based removal, which is great because it helps get out um, the residue of your frontal and helps you just take it down without pulling out any hair, well, any of your hair, any natural hair. Um, it's just very, like, it makes your hair oily to me. And what if you don't want to wash it? Like, or what if you just wash it, you know? So that's why I like using that because it's dry and it's a shampoo. So it's actually cleaning your edges as you take them out. Win-win situation. Um, so yeah, so that's really it about frontals and closures. Um, they're both really great. They're both great to protect your edges. And that's like the biggest thing as well as your perimeter, uh, any hair. It's really to protect your hair because a lot of times, um, depending on the weather, um, depending on where you live, girl, especially in the South, baby, that humidity will mess up. I don't, even if you got a perm, it will go poof and now you just got Brazilian at the top and like some silky, nice hair at the bottom and you do not want that. So, um, it's a great protective style. Um, another thing, I see a lot of people talking about um oh these wigs and i don't want to be i don't want to wear a wig and a lot of people are scared to wear frontals because they think it looks wiggy it does not all the time i mean let me know sis does it look wiggy let me know girl let me know like depending on who do it um and their technique <laughs> as well because it can be a big name or uh, you know a well-known stylist or whatever that does your frontal or your closure and it can look wiggy another thing sis please stop doing these closures where you have a part and they, it's like they leave like a little part of your hair out and then the closure starts here i don't like that and 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 the rest of the world don't like that either like we ain't here for all that so yeah we're gonna need to stop that too in 2018 but um yeah you guys i was thinking about maybe giving my hair a little bit more highlights so i actually bleached it first and i used the um the ash blonde i believe it's like it's like pale ash blonde so i got it from it's it's in a little box i got it from sally's i believe it's t15 i'm not sure um i'll try to put it in the description below um but yeah, I got it from Sally's, but I do know it's the Pale Ash Blonde. And I just kind of, you know, not really in an ombre effect, but just, you know, gave it a little, a little definition. Now, it's only in the front. It's not in the back. And I can show you guys my back. So see, it's not really in the back. Um, it's only like in the front area. So yeah um if you have any questions please feel free to send me a message or don't forget to like and subscribe this video to this video and to my channel um i'll be happy with any support that you guys give don't forget to comment like and share please feel free to like and share um but yeah that's it with this video and i hope to see you guys soon bye bye